Journal TV is lucky to have council member Jeff Irvin with us today, who's running for re-election in the election of November 8th, and we welcome him. Hi, Jeff. Hi. Tell us a little bit about your background. You're running unopposed this year, but you've been around Clifton Forge quite a while. Yes, sir. Uh, as everybody knows, if they know me, my name's Jeff Irvin. I'm running for re-election November the 8th election. I've lived in Clifton, I forged my whole life, which is 54 years. I've worked here my whole life. I, I reside at 1261 Commercial Avenue with my wife, Terry, of 30-some years. I hope she'll hear that. <laughs> That's an achievement in itself, <laughs> <you> isn't it? <laughs> I've been on council for five years. I've um, worked for Allegheny Public School Systems as a custodian. And when I assumed my seat and couldn't forge council, I always wanted to be a, a council member that would go out and listen to the public. I, I like to go one-on-one -on -one and face-to-face -face with the public on their problems and concerns. It's been many a time, time 11 o'clock at night, I've went out and talked to a person on a problem. We've seen you. We've seen you. <laughs> the, um, well, you've been, a, as you mentioned, you've been a, a member of town council now for five years. Can you give us a feel for what you believe is the recent progress in, in the town? I, I believe the progress is, I think we're moving forward. I mean, we've had some negatives, but together we can all work through negatives. But the positive, I mean, we got new businesses. We have uh, the reopening of Masonic Theater, which is a grand thing. Uh, selling land to Kroger, the gas station, and selling the turntable, which we just did the other night to CNO Historical Society. That was impressive. That's another $15,000 yeah. for the town. We're selling, uh, we did the new water and sewer agreement with the town, with the Allegheny County, which is a major achievement, I think. When I first came on, we were fighting over this tremendously, and we've had a hard time, but I think we got a half-decent agreement. Do you have a formal set of positions or platform that you want the uh, town residents to know about? I want to just keep Clinton Forge moving forward. Uh, I think things are going in the right direction. Like like I've said, we've had some negatives with the water and sewer rate hike, which I voted no on, and I've had my reasons for voting no. <laughs> I've always told the citizens of Clifton when I ran my first election that I would never be for a or water or sewer raised, and I've stood by that vote and voted no every time. And I think we're going in a positive direction. We work together. Uh, we're, we're doing things like, you know, a new lodging tax. That helps Clifton, you know, 5% lodging tax. We have 3% goes to the Chamber of Commerce to advertise our, our tourism, and 2% goes to us to do our advertising. So I think we're, we're coming along. I hope that we see good things in the future. Uh, we've got some things planned that I can't say a lot about, but hopefully... There are some secrets that yeah. Council has. <laughs> Can you give us your view on what should go on at the 13 acres once the road is built out near the Kroger site? Up I, above Kroger, I meant. Well, we know the gas station, the Kroger gas station will go there. That's an impressive $1.4 million project, as I understand. Yeah. And I think that'll really help Clinton Forge, you know. I hope and pray that a lot of people will come off the interstate, you know, and get on, get here and come into town, get gas, maybe stop and eat, or, or you know, just look around and buy some, something. But the 13 acres, I hope somebody would come in and make some offices, or, I mean, it's good, it would be a good place for offices, professional offices. I know we don't have enough land to do uh, a factoring or, or a big, plan or anything, but something small. you got to start out small and work your way up, in my opinion. And what, what do you think might happen after all the buildings are torn down and asbestos is removed on the former CSX property? I would hope somebody would come in and, and take that land. It, it's, it's a prime place right there where it's had the tracks. And it would seem so. Yeah. And we've had some offers on it before. Nothing really panned out yet, but Hopefully in the future something will. It, a big step is to tear it down and get just straight land out there. No old buildings, no dangerous stacks, and that, that will help marketing it a lot. It's uh, very nice of you to come in on this fall festival day and speak with us. 
Thanks again for joining us. As we were finishing the interview, Mr. Urban had a few more items he wanted to mention to the public. Jeff? I'd just like to say I, I appreciate all the voters of Clinton Forge for voting me in last time, and, and I respect your, and very surprised over the majority of vote I got. I had 1,156 votes last election, and I'm very surprised and humbled by the number of votes. I'd just like to ask the voters to vote for me again on November the 8th, and I'll keep up the same way I've been doing, canceling the same concerns. I'll be there one-on-one. -on -one. And let's just go out and beat that 1,156 votes this time. Thank you, and God bless you. Thanks very much. Thank you.